All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope we have a very good time with our family and our friends. And uh, already, you know, we are in the weekend, uh, which is a great time uh, to enjoy life. Uh, as you see in the front of you, uh, somebody putting things in his head. Weird stuff in his face. Okay. And this is exactly how I see the Prophet of Islam. A man who is looking for attention. Islam is the most silly cult. Not only it's a stupid, I call it silly. I mean, to the point it's really, it's even boring. And today we will give you an examples of those silliness. Today we will mention some stories from Shia and Sunni. So the Shia will not be upset we are not mentioning them. And the Sunni will not be upset that we are talking only about Shia, I believe. We will start with the Shia. This is the book. It's called Madinatul Ma'ajiz, which means the city of miracles or like impossible things. Volume number two, page number 411. Actually, let us re read page number 410. I mean, why we go to 411 right away? <clears throat> While the Prophet of uh, Islam, he was in the house of his wife, or one of his wives, an angel came down to him, and he had 20 heads. And every head have 4,000 tongues. How many? He have a 20 head, and every head have 4,000 tongue. Hmm. Okay. So if we say 4,000 x 20, that is 80,000 tongue. Okay. I mean, the more tongues he have, the more powerful he is, isn't it? So Allah created for him 20 heads. Uh, what about the legs? He have 20 heads. And every head have 4,000 tongues. Now, I mean, do you, can you imagine how disgusting this is? Is that an angel of God? This would be scary. This is disgusting. Because the tongue will look like a snake. And like you open your mouth and there's like 4,000 snakes coming from your mouth. And then every tongue he prays Allah. In a language not like the other one. Which means every tongue speak a language. So now that means there's 80,000 languages. And the size of his hand is bigger from the seven skies and from the seven earth. If, 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 hold on. So the guy who have 20 head and every head have 4,000 tongues. His hand is bigger than the sky and the earth, the seven sky and the seven earth. How he got inside the house of Muhammad in his room? Hmm? Please help me where I can report a possible uh, terrorist. My friend, you don't report to me. Go, you can go to the FBI website. I report to them. There's an FBI website. It is nobody know you. You can you can send a report. All right, not to me, not the FBI. Look at this. And then, I mean, 
I mean, this guy, his hand alone is bigger than the earth, the seven earth and seven skies. Uh, by the way, some Muslim, they might say to you, or oh, uh, uh, he is lying in the translation. Let me uh, use Google browser. So we can use Google translation. You know what I mean? We will use like whatever, like uh, Google, you know, it, Google is not too much accurate, but better than nothing. Here we go. This is, uh, I will use Google. I will click in the front of you. Translate to English. All right. <clears throat> it says, when the Prophet was in his house, in the house of Ummu Salama, an angel he came to him, not a king, with the 20 heads. On every head there is 4,000 tongues. <laughs> <laughs> and his hand is wider than the seven heavens and the seven earth. By the way, Muslim they believe there's seven earth and seven heavens. Seven majid, seven tree, seven galah, seven, seven. <clears throat> hmm. Now, if you are a Muslim and read and learn about your prophet, and this is what you learn, how much silly you feel to be uh, listening to this. Then the prophet said to him, the prophet said to him, Oh, Jibreel. He said to him, Jibreel. Muhammad, he did not recognize him. He thought this is Jibreel. <laughs> Why? Then the angel, he said to him, hey, I am not Jibreel. And he said to him, Oh, Jibreel. You have never come to me in such a picture. Muhammad he said to him, You never come to me like this before. Huh? Then the angel he said, I am not Jibreel. I am Sarsasil. <laughs> and look at I look at the name. The, the name Sarsar Sarsa is coming from like a, a cockroach. Sarsail Muhammad he learned that the Jews have angels they end with il so now he start adding names Sarsail I'm not Jibreel I am the angel Sarsail if 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 and Allah sent me Allah what Allah he sent me he sent you for what this is Sarsail talking angel Sarsail today you're learning a new name right Sarsail so Muhammad, he was confused. He thought this is Jibreel. He said to Jibreel, Oh, Jibreel, you never come to me before like this. Like, what happened to you? Where do you get the 20 head, man? <laughs> he said to him, I am not Jibreel. I am Sarsail. Allah sent me to marry the light from the light. If, 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 if. Who is the light who will marry the light? Your daughter Fatima to Ali ibn Abi Talib. Because the Shia, they believe that Muhammad and his families, they are made of light. So Allah, he sent this angel who have a 28, look like this guy, he is a specialty, is a wedding uh, uh, ceremony. You know, like, you know, there is people who do wedding, uh, uh, like uh, preparing for wedding party, etc., etc. So, uh, this guy, Sarsail, he's an angel of Allah who have 20 heads. And now we understand we have why he have uh, uh, 4,000 tongues in every mouth. I mean, he's going to do like the, the, the Middle East, they do that, you know. I don't know if you heard them. That's amazing. I mean, how you can, how you can jump over this? And then... The story is not over yet. And then the Prophet, he married Fatima to Ali. But who was the witnesses? Who was in the party? Guess what? There was a Jibreel and the angel Mikael and the angel Israfil and the angel, the angel Sarsail. 
all the ill angels wanted to leave <coughs> the prophet he saw in his shoulder it's written no God but Allah and Muhammad his his puppet I mean his prophet it's written that too Allah he do that too to his angels me and Ali is written not only that not only Muhammad is his prophet and Allah is God no and Ali is the one who proved like let us say he give the proof or he proved the argument this is written between the shoulders of the angel society and you people don't want to believe what's wrong with you what is missing now this is Shia story now this book by the way is full of stories I mean we can just flip pages and you will die laughing from all the stories it's endless you know see all of those stories about madness if we read each one of them you will die laughing This is page number 410, the one we read from, it was 49. In page number 410, it says, uh, it's written between the two shoulders of Sursail, etc. And then uh, it says, yeah, it says the same, repeating the same story. Yeah, let us see page number 411. 411. Yeah, they are repeating again the same story. I mean, what this book repeating the same story over page after page? Okay. Yeah, repeating the same story until now. Like this is only we are flipping four pages. Yeah. But the, there is some difference in the details. We have to admit. Uh, here, it here here in the city in the story here it says uh, that uh, Allah Prophet he asked him. What's your name? Look in the, in the in the other hadith it says his name is Sasail. In this hadith he asked him, What's your name? He said, My name is Mahmoud. <laughs> Mahmoud. <laughs> Mahmoud. So let us go here. I mean, what you can say? We we have we have to we have to admit Islam is a fantastic religion. So he said to him, What's your name? He said to him, My name this angel at the translation says king is is called Mahmoud so it was among his shoulder written there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger mm -hmm. are you sure brother yes brother this is why I say to you many time if you are laughing at the books of the Sunni just wait until you read the books of the Shia. It's way more stupid. And then Allah, Prophet, he asked him, like the, the conversation continue. Uh, he, Muhammad, he said to him, since when this is written between your shoulders, like uh, his name and the name of Ali, you know, since when this is written between your shoulder? The angel, he said to him, oh, before Allah created our father Adam by 12,000 years. <laughs> oh. What we can say. Now let us, let us just to be fair, let us stop for a second from the books of the Shia and goes for the book of the Sunni. Because not only the Shia are silly with their belief, the Sunni is more silly sometime and sometimes the Shia they beat them. This is the book of Al-Bidaya and al nihaya for Ibn Kathir. By who? By Ibn Kathir. By who? By Ibn Kathir. 
They say what they would say to me, no CP. It doesn't say that CP. <laughs> Page number 249. It says here a story about a guy. He inserted the siwak or miswak. You know, miswak is a, uh, is a root of a tree, uh, which uh, very it can be very harmful to beat people with it. They use it to beat animals usually. At the same time, those who they are beating the animals, they put the end of it in their mouth and they clean their teeth with it supposedly. So the story here, about, according to Ibn Kathir saying, and this is a true story by the way, he said that it mentioned to us that there is a man, his name Abu Salama. His name is what? Abu Salama. Salama, not the, the, the meat you eat, you know, like Salama. No. His, his name is the father of Salama from the city of Basra, which is in Iraq. And he was a crazy and uh, careless. And they mentioned to him the miswak, which the Muslim they put in their mouth, and what is good about it. <laughs> and then he said, I, by Allah, I will not use, I will not use the miswak except in the anus. He meant by that his anus. Then he took the miswak and he entered it inside his anus. And then he took it out. If, 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 if. Then uh, CP won't dare to answer my call, trust me. Hey, Buddy, uh, why you don't call me? I will open Skype just for you, Buddy. Trust me. Here we go. Buddy, you know, Buddy is the, this is the Buddy, guys. Do you know the song I Came Buddy? Okay, I will open the, I will open my Skype just for you, Buddy. I will not take any call except Buddy. Here we go. Call me Buddy. Buddy the Moody. Let's see how brave you are. Hmm. I am live on air. My Skype is on, waiting for Buddy. Don't forget to call me Buddy. Only you, I will take only one call. It is from Buddy. No one else. We will freeze. Is even the guy who put the miswak inside his anus? He have to wait now, because we have to wait for Budi, who nobody dare to answer him, including Christian friends. We are waiting for you, Budi. Yes, sir. I can Budi, Budi, Budi. Yes, I do. Hey, Budi. Hello. Budi now even stopped typing. He is not even moving his tail. What happened, Buddy? Yes, sir. Buddy, 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 uh, Buddy. Did you put the miswak in your uh, <coughs> the same as this guy? All right. So it looked like he's uh, he's a coward. All right. So we go back to the story. Uh, now you see, you forced me to go back from the beginning because we forgot where we stopped. This is interesting. All right. So. It's reported to us that there's a guy, his name is Abu Salama, from the city of Al-Basra, which is in Iraq, and he was like a crazy guy and he didn't care. And it's mentioned to him the, the benefit of the miswak. And what is the blessing in it? Blessing, there's a blessing in it. And then he said, by Allah, he swear by Allah, I'm not going to use miswak except in my... <clears throat> And then he entered it in his anus. Oh. And then after he entered it in his anus, he took it out. I'm so glad he took it out. He did not keep it there. Like, are you expecting me to keep it, expecting the guy to, to keep it there? And then by, after that, after nine months, brother, he was suffering in his belly. There's a pain in his belly and in his anus for nine months. How many months? Nine months exactly. After the date, he entered the thing in his anus. And then after that, he gave birth to a rat. To a what? To a rat. Rat, rat. And this rat has four legs. And he have a head of a snake. And he have four teeth. And they are coming out. And long tail. And every finger, 
and actually uh, and, and 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 his uh, and his <laughs> And and his tail is like one like a, the the length of the hand, and have four fingers, and he have an anus like an anus of a rabbit. A a a book in the How the rabbit anus look like? <laughs> and then when he gave birth to this animal, he screamed three times, and then his daughter. Uh, uh, you know, like she jumped into like his head to hold him, and he died. And then this man, like this is the baby, supposedly the rat, died. He screamed three times. And then the man he lived after that, after he gave birth for two days, and he died in the third. Here we go in the third again. Everything happened in the third. Now we have to agree that this is a true story. And now the Muslim they say this is not a true CP. You are lying, CP. No. This is Ibn Kathir. And this is the page number. Hello. Yeah, for sure, this is a true story. We have to agree, you know, that those are true, true stories. So you know why now though the muslim they will say this is a story written by what this have to do with muhammad anyway well this is you see this about muhammad because muhammad he told you about the miswak and because this guy he made fun of allah uh, you know he entered the miswak in his anus this has happened to him that's a very true story right now we I don't know what I will mention to you. I mean, there is tons of stories, uh, but as we as long we mention Mr. Rats, we have to respect him now because you know this is a Allah a miracle. Allah will make you give birth to a rat if you make fun of Allah. Mm -hmm. All right. So if we go here, let us see uh, a rat. Let us search for a rat because now the rat is inspiring me. What we can say about rats? Hey Muslims, what your prophet said about rats? Do you know? Any Muhammadan knows what your prophet said about rats? Guess what? Prophet, peace upon him, he discovered that rats are Jews. Yes, brother. The prophet, he discovered that rats are Jews. Mm-hmm. Now, how the prophet discovered that? You need a special skills to discover such a thing. Hmm. Anyone knows how the prophet discovered that the rats are Jews? How? Not only they are Jews, they are Orthodox Jews. Let us go to the Hadith. In the hadith, we find this, which supposedly, I mean, amazing. The prophet, how he knew the, how the prophet knew those stuff, man. How he knew. All right. Let us find the hadith where. Here we go, brothers and sisters. Once upon the time, there was a prophet. His name is Muhammad. The Prophet said, A group of Israelis were lost. Nobody knows what they did. Look at the look at the action here. Nobody knows what see here. This is suspense. You see the suspense? Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Da -da -dum. Nobody. Nobody know, nobody know. Nobody know, nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody me. Nobody knows what they did. Even you, prophet. Are you serious? I mean, how in the world the prophet he did not know? That is impossible. You are Muhammad, you do not know. 
I'm so disappointed. I thought Muhammad you knew everything. How this happened? How in the world this is happening? I cannot believe it. I'm disappointed of the Prophet which Allah chose from between all mankind. He did not know what happened to them. So what you know, Muhammad? But I do not see them. Mm -hmm. uh, Muhammad now is talking. Please show respect. But I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. Like what? Like what? What? <laughs> this is. <laughs> Let me introduce to you Jack Shalom. <laughs> I mean, you see, you have to admit, Muhammad not only stupid. Obviously, he is speaking to a bunch of stupid. If this is a prophet telling a prophet story, what about the one who is listening and believing? Hmm? If this is Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, who Allah took him to the seventh heaven, he knew how the baby is made. Like he said, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, which is true. <laughs> so beautiful so true um. <laughs> what is this Allah he made the Jews rats what happened why not rabbit Look at this rabbit. I mean, rabbit will be better because look, this guy looked like an orthodox. It fit even better. He have those things coming from his head, <laughs> his hair. So why Muhammad, he chose the rats? What is behind the rat? Why not a rabbit? Look, brother, the prophet, he used to work for the CIA and his job is to analyze information. So what happened, brother? He was observing the behavior of rats. Academic study, professional, super professional. Look what happened. But I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. For if you, hold on, this is serious now. Now Muhammad is giving us the reason why he believed the Jews became rats. For if you, Put the milk of a she camel in the front of a rat, it will not drink it. Okay, but if you make the milk of a sheep, it will drink it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Super, super intelligence. Muhammad, he knew that the Orthodox Jews will never drink a she camel milk. And the rat. They are not drinking she camel milk. Like hello. So obviously, this rat, he was an Orthodox Jew. <laughs> hey. Brother, I'm going to use the logic of your prophet. If we put whiskey in the front of a donkey, he will not drink it. And uh, <laughs> I can't breathe. What is this? What is this, man? This is deep. I mean, this is deep. The Prophet discovered that those are Jews. So Allah, he cursed them. Look, they are not acting like Jews. No, they, he cursed them. Look, they were cursed and changed into rats. 
So now they are rats, but still they are observing the law of Moses. They are what? They are rats, but they are following the Torah. So imagine the rat, he's opening the Torah and he is shaking his head. Okay, he's, now he's reading the book of Genesis. <laughs> Beautiful and so beautiful, so, so cute, so cute. Now remember, uh, the stories of the Prophet Muhammad they are made. Uh, you know, like I mean, they have a special level of intelligence. You know, they are made for uh, adult. Yeah, like this. And those adults, whatever the prophet he say, they agree. And those adults, they love the stories of the prophet, don't you? So you adult who heard the story of the prophet Muhammad, about how he was discovering that, like the prophet, he used to uh, they study geology and analogy, whatever, physiology, cacology, all the logy. Look how the prophet he discovered that rats, those rats are Jews. What do you think, kids? I mean, uh, adult. Exactly, exactly. I got you. You know, yeah, I, I know what you mean by yay. Like you know, like you know, like this is really hilarious. So all of us we knew. Do you think there is anyone better than the prophet of telling stories? Ah, uh, see, they are not liking this. The only the prophet he knew how to tell stories. Man, how the prophet he had he got this knowledge and courage and intelligence and analyzing information. How he can reach that highness, you know. I mean, this guy, he's a genius. If you open his brain, what we will find? Hmm. If there is any Muslim have anything to say? Uh, Muhammad, he banned alcohol because he can't drink no more. Muhammad was dying, remember? Muhammad was dying after he, you know, He's sick, he cannot drink it. What do you think? Hmm. Mimi Hijab and mask you? Hey, Mimi Hijab, he is wearing a mask already. His last name is Hijab. <laughs> You know, <clears throat> those Mimi and Fifi, they are so brave to the point they don't dare to call me and to talk to me or even let me talk into them. So when we call them, they hang up on me seven times and they mute me. I am the one who is unmasking the devil, Muhammad. And you cannot do anything about it. You see, the Muslims, they cannot debate me. <clears throat> so they try to make it personal try to make it uh, you know against Christian Prince talk as much about Christian Prince as you want still Muslims leave Islam any Muslim have an answer for what you say you know that's always the Muslim they try to divert the topic they do talk about Christian Prince but Christian Prince is not a prophet who is Christian Prince no one where are you Muhammadan where is Fifi and Mimi? What about they call me right now and they explain to me the intelligence of your prophet? Hmm? Any brave Mimi? Any brave Fifi? <clears throat> Anyone? Actually, when the Muslims, they are attacking me as a person, 
they simply, uh, you know, expose how trashy Islam is. They cannot debate me. As simple as that. <clears throat> Anyone? Hello? Any Muslim here have a courage to call me? My Skype is open. Who is a Muslim would like to call? Including Mimi, and Cece, and Fufu. <laughs> And not only that, the, the, the potato uh, Mimi Hijab, he don't dare to answer me, so he's getting videos of a bunch of kids, even those people, they are funny and stupid. Look how, look at this coward, he don't even dare to refute me. He is getting Fifi, who is a kid, and other kid, and other kid to make videos to refute me, and he put them together and he posts on his channel. But can he call me? And he posts pictures, supposedly this is of me. Where are you, Muhammadan? You see here we challenge scholars, not like Mimi Hijab, but even Mimi, who is claiming to be something, he don't dare. This is why he knew his size. This is why he never let me talk. Because if we talk, he will get busted. Coward like their prophet. Anyone? Let us see, do we have any Muhammadan? Zero Muhammadan until now. <coughs> Zero Abdul. So what do you think, Muhammadan? I want the Muslims to make videos. I want, uh, I, I, you know what? I have a special invitation to Mimi Hijab. And uh, Fifi, uh, the daughter of uh, Mimi Hijab. Why you don't make a video about this hadith and tell us how amazing the observation of the Prophet? That there is people who became rats and yet they are still Jews. I mean, why they became rats if they are following the order of uh, of, of Moses? Look, they are rat now and still they are following the Torah. Isn't it amazing? Muhammad because he hate the Jews. Anything he see around him, he see a Jew. He see a rat, he see a Jew. <laughs> In this different hadith, uh, The Prophet of Allah, he said, that he made the Jews lizard. Lizard? Yes, brother. Why? How this happened? And how the Prophet noticed that... <laughs> how the Prophet <laughs> noticed... <clears throat> that the lizard is a Jew. How he noticed that Allah, he made them lizard. Any Muhammadan have an idea? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan? He have an answer. You know, if you go in the Quran, just to show you more funny stories from the most funny, stupid book ever written, supposedly considered holy, that the Jews, they brought, they broke the Sabbath in, in, in like, uh, by fishing. And because they broke, they broke the Sabbath, you know, uh, by doing fishing, Allah, he cursed them, and he made them pigs and monkeys. Now, the story here get more interesting and more stupid. Introducing to us a very stupid man, his name is Muhammad, claiming 
that Allah he made the fish come only in Saturday and he made the Jews suffer they cannot fish they cannot find a fish except only in Saturday so they get hungry and then they have to eat so they did fishing in Saturday and then Allah he cursed them how truthful this story is <clears throat> anyone now you might say Christian Prince given his own story I can show you the reference and the interpretation for this story here let us go give me a second so I can open the Muslim interpretation so they will not say uh, Christian Prince making things up it doesn't say that you know them they cry 24 hours, 7 days a week. Chapter 7, verse number 163. Interpretation. This is your words. This is your mouth. This is your ink. This is your writing. I have nothing to do with it. All right. So don't cry. I will put it for you on the screen in a second. I'm just opening the website. Give me a second. All right. Brother, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. I will have it in the screen for you, as you see. Tafsir al Jalalain. Tafsir means interpretation for those who do not know. And al Jalalain is one of the biggest scholars in the history of the cult of the Muhammadan. It says here. And question them, O Muhammad, in rebuke about the city that was by the sea, bordering the Red Sea, Bahr al what al al and this was Ilat about the befall of the inhabitants, how they would transgress, violate the Sabbath by fishing, which they had been commanded not to do in that day. Okay, what happened? What happened? How this is happening? Read carefully with me. It says, Their fish would come to them on the day of their Sabbath, floating in the surface, visible at the surface of the water, like doing ballet. The fish are like, la, 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 I'm here. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay, do you see me? But now the Jews, they cannot fish. It's Saturday. It's haram. It's haram. So Allah, he made the fish come to them in Saturday. But on the day, which is not Saturday, uh, the fish disappear. You see? The fish is gone. Is gone. And this was a trial from Allah. It's a trial. Me. This is Quran. This is Quran. This is not Shish Kebab. This is this is the best of the Shish Kebab. Humbos. If you don't like a Jalalain, by the way, we can change that interpretation for you. We can go to Ibn Kathir, potato, tomato. I mean, it doesn't matter. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. It says, "Ask them, the Jews, O Muhammad." about the story of the township called Ailah that was in the sea how they break the Sabbath they used to transgress in the Sabbath by taking the fish Man. but the fish come to them only on Saturday what do you think Muhammadan shall we go to Ibn Kathir so Allah, he made the fish come to them only in Saturday. And because they fish in Saturday, Allah, he made them pigs. See, <clears throat> this God, his name is Allah, will not make you a pig if you rape women. No. Or you rape children. No. Or if you kill a human being. Absolutely not. But he will kill you. No, sorry. He will make you a pig on the monkey if you fish in Saturday. If you rape a woman on Saturday, he will not do anything to you. 
But doing fishing on Saturday is a bigger crime. Any Muhammadan? No, for sure, uh, you know, Zakir Naik, uh, people asking about Zakir Naik, I mean, Zakir Naik, he will explain it to you perfectly. He will say to you, I threw myself a word fitting in the tea, and I threw a do with man, and it was Saturday. I did me with Dr. Loom. I said to him, be the brother, be the brother, don't fit in Saturday. It's very dangerous, you are to do. You are forbidden to do fitting in Saturday. In fact, he became half monkey, half pig. True story. And the brother and sister. I mean, what is that? This is the, and this is the, uh, they say to us, Islam. I mean, look at the, this is Quran. This is Quran. Your God, he cursed and made them pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday because they are hungry. Well, isn't it the Quran says if you are hungry, you can, you can break the law of God? Huh? As an example, the Quran says that Allah, he forbid the Muslims from eating pork. Is that correct? Yes, brother. But if you are hungry, you can eat it. You see it? This is the chapter 5, verse number 3. It says, if you are hungry, you can eat pigs. Uh, the fish come to them only in the day which they have to observe. They are fishermen. This is what they do for a living. So as long if you are hungry and then Allah is all merciful, how come he is not all merciful with the Jews? He is all merciful with the Muslims even if they eat pigs as you see in the, in the, in the Quran. Hmm? This is a stupid story made by a stupid man. His name is Muhammad. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Any Muhammadan? No answer. And by the way, Muslim they can eat pork because the Quran allowed them to eat the food of the Christians. All the food of the Christians and the Jews is lawful for them. The Christians, they eat pork. Anything the Christian they give, the Muslim he is allowed to eat. So this is another scam. Uh, my friend, I respond about what? Those people are talking to themselves. I saw I saw a, a video, you know, of uh, Mimi Hijab. He, he doesn't have a video. He's, he have uh, kids. And those are kids. They are not even worth to answer. They are a bunch of kids. I'm responding here. You know, do I need to make a videos? Stupid. You see, if they are really people, they can respond to me. All what is going to take them to give me a call. And that would be very embarrassing for me. If I do the same as Mimi Hijab, he did to me by hanging up and me, muting me. Let them call me. Life on air says, you said that. Let us debate about it. All right? But they are cowards. Go and watch how when I called me. me. Yes, I say it's like me. I was reading your stupid prophet hadith. He changed the topic right away. Let us talk about it. No. So they don't dare to talk about anything. For me, they are not worth it. I'm not going to waste my time with those kids. I'm getting them busted right now as we speak. Keep making videos. And actually, by the way, <clears throat> the more videos they make to respond, the more Muslims they come and listen. It's for my benefit. I wish they will make videos about me for the coming maybe 20 years. Non-stop. I encourage actually all the Muslims to make videos to refute me. Because Muslims at the end of the day, they will come here and they will listen and they will see that this is the truth. I never say it. I will. I never say it. No, no, my friend. No, I don't mute people. I don't mute people. No, I mute people only if they don't allow me to talk. Go watch my videos. I have thousands of thousands of Muslims calling me. 
If you don't allow me to talk, I have to mute me so people can hear me, and then I will give you the mic to talk. Him, he did not let me talk. <laughs> and he changed the topic. He asked me the question. He gave me the mic. I start saying two words, he hang up on me. Then he called me and he asked a second question. We did not even finish the first. I did not answer anything. Because they are cowards. They are cowards like their prophet. <clears throat> and here we go. My Skype is open. I promise you, if you don't, if you let me talk, I mean, it's my program. At least let me talk. I promise you, if you let me talk, we will talk as much as you like. And not only that, I will allow you to play the video of me, me hijab, so we can die laughing and I will refute immediately. Who want to do that? You tell me what hijab said and you can even play it. And I will get you busted and Mimi Hijab immediately, right now as we speak. doesn't matter what the topic. You see how much I'm sure? There are potatoes. If those be Muslims, you see, Mimi Hijab, he want to debate David Wood, but he will never debate me. Why? Fari Fifi, he want to debate apostate prophet. This guy is Fifi as a kid. He don't even know what he's talking about. I saw his videos. I'm dying laughing. Go and see my video I made about uh, the... Uh, Mimi Hijab, he says, annihilating refutation to Razwan. Go and watch the video. He's making fun even of Islam. All of you are the same equality. You have no answer. You try to put down the person. Let me show you an example of the filthy Mimi Hijab games. As long as you are mentioning. Mimi Hijab, when we called him, he said, ah, You see what he said? Suckle me. Suckle me. Did you see? Brother, suddenly this guy, he is playing like he is a decent man and a Christian prince is a bad person. Did you see what he said to her? The coward, he cut off the videos. They cut my videos. Because they are filthy, they are not trustworthy. This is the video in the front of us. This is your sister calling me, and this is what she said. Listen. So when they say Christian Prince, he said, "Suckle me." Why you? Why you did not play the video, a coward? Because you are a son of a muta, like your prophet. Listen carefully. Why is a Christian? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen. Can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When? When the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to, to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you... show me where it says in the Bible kiss the cross. No, no, show me, you, show me. No, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't kiss anything. Show me where why, you why you're a prophet? You why you're a prophet? The pagan prophet? You why your pagan a prophet kiss a stone? Your prophet no, is a pagan man. No, you why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Why? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. You see, all of them, they share the same. This is the sister of Mimi Hijab. We talk about why you kiss the black stone. She will talk about everything except this is the question. This is the Muslims. This is exactly the Muslims. And look what she said now. And this is the video, the filthy Mimi Hijab, the trashy. Obviously, his mother, she is not a good woman. Otherwise, she will not have a son like this because he dishonest. He have no shame. He thought this video nobody have it. Maybe we we lost it. Listen. Hey, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know where? You know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss, no, Why you're a prophet? Kiss the black stone. He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did, did you kiss a stone or not? Did you, did you, did you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No. Jesus created the black stone. Suddenly she said that Jesus is God. <laughs> Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, you must have kiss his stones, right? Why why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so, mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boops? You must be okay. You see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how savage they are? Look what she said. Oh no, look what she said. Not, look what she not said. Like you. Okay, okay, show me show guy. me okay, show me a verse. Show me Do you see the filthy Mimi Hijab how trashy he is? 
He took the video of the women. She is the one is insulting and saying, Jesus, you know, if you Muslims have dignity, you will not even speak about this woman. But you have no dignity. You claim that you Muslims believe that Jesus is a prophet of God. This woman, she is insulting the prophet of Islam, which is supposed to Jesus. Yet the filthy Mimi Hijab, he take her video and make her her victim when the fact she is the one who is filthy, like the mother of Mimi Hijab. Listen carefully. She said, Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. Worse, actually. Ah, he played with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He played with his mother what? He to boobs? The you must be, okay, you see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how, you see how savage they are? Look what she said. Oh, no. Look what she said. Not, Look what she said. Like you. Okay, show me. That, show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he played Why with his mother. Are... Show me his oh, a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just. You see? She is a trashy person. This is why Mimi Hijab, the trashy person, he used a trashy woman to make Christian Prince look bad. Because a Christian Prince, he said to her, Suck on me. <laughs> Actually, I was saying to her, well, in fact, the one who said boobs is your prophet. He ordered you to suck on men. Ordered Jesus for no reason. You said Jesus, he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay, you're, you, listen, you are a liar, number one. Number two, it's your prophet who ordered women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suck on you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Then. Can I suck on you? Can I suck you? See? This is what the filthy Mimi Hijab he cut off from all the video. Do you see how we got them busted? Shame on you. And because he is a street boy, he have no dignity, he did play that game. Supposedly, he will say, yeah, So look, this is a Christian prince. Look what he is saying. He is saying to a Muslim woman, suckle me. <laughs> I mean, you have no shame. You have no dignity. They cut my videos and they edit them and they put them together to make a video which is not what I said. Filthy. Filthy. You know, from their fruits, you shall know them. And now everybody, Muslims and Christians, are laughing at this guy. Because if Mimi Hijab, he, he loves Islam, he should defend Jesus. This woman... She just said something very awful about Jesus and the Muslim they claim that Jesus is a prophet in Islam and we defend him. Do you see it? This is who, who is your Mimi. This is the quality of your Mimi. The quality of your Mimi is not too much different from the quality of your Mumu. For both are fraud and they are a scumbag. And that's why they don't dare to call me. Do you ask yourself, this man, he promised the Muslims he would debate me. Why he did not have a debate? What is the, pro what is the problem? What, what you will lose? You will win, right? Christian Prince is lying. You will win. And look, when they asked me about, Ibn, uh, about uh, Paul, so I quote for them from Ibn Kathir. They start answering about different hadith from Ibn Kathir. It's stupid. They are, they are terrified. They are terrified. I'm not even reading that book. I'm reading a different book, totally different book. They are nervous. They, they prepare a video and they say to themselves, okay, we will ask him the question. Don't let him talk. Hang up on him. And we will make a story about it. And then we call him back. But they, they did not know that I am live on air in my channel. So people, they hear what happened. Cowards. And I am here to get you and your prophet busted. I am the Christian prince, and you are no one. And no Muslim dare to call me, starting from the lowest Mimi up to Allah. You see, Mimi is not even worse cleaning my bathroom floor with it or with him. But I am welcoming him to call me if he dare. And not only that, I will call him. But the coward will never let that happen. Same as this Fifi, same as Susu, all of them, they are a bunch of kids making Islam as a business. Each time he go in video, brother and sister, don't forget to buy this. Aren't you ashamed? Aren't you ashamed? You see, uh, 
it's not like he is saying read a book it's it is like a shampoo what is that business is good is it hmm. uh, first of all uh, this is 16 16 years old first of all this is a lady this is a woman she been all over and you are a coward secondly you're filthy if you as long as you are talking about 16 years old and you said she is a kid guys let me let me let me let me put this for you why you deleted this message why you deleted the message I was going to show it in the screen look at the filthy he said that this woman she is 16 and she is a lady she is not 16 number two as long 16 is a kid for you how your prophet the filthy you accept him to have sex with six years old kid do you see how they beat themselves do you see how they expose themselves he just said he claimed that she is 16 this is an old woman 16 years old look at this muhammad He had Aisha when she was six years old. The Muhammadan lie and they say she is. Where, where do you get this? She, she was 16, you faith is stupid. Where do you get this from? And this is sex, supposedly. It's recorded, it's life. Filthy, filthy like your prophet. Coward. What about we have your prophet life on air when he did the, his business with the. Aisha trashy garbage in garbage out so 16 let us say he is saying she is 16 which is not true is a kid but six years old is a lady <laughs> I mean, stupidity is amazing. Those people, they have no idea uh, uh, how stupid Islam is. You are beating yourself. You are you are arming us with your statement. Look what they lie. They lie about what happened. They lie about the video. They lie about the age. They are a bunch of liars like their God. This woman, she said, I've been all over. I've been in Saudi Arabia. I've been in Somalia. I've been in, in etc. I've been in Yemen. She is 16 years old. She is older than your grandma, Aisha. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have anything to say? So let us go back to our topic. They are just trying to divert us from the stupid Muhammad. So I you see Muhammad, he have a mental illness and the stories he bring in his Quran and in his Hadith, proving to us that this person is not stable. Why Allah? You see, the Muslim they say Allah is all justice. He's just. He's, he's a God of just. Okay. That's what they say. Why Allah will make a Jew a pig and a monkey for breaking Sabbath, but he will not make a Jew for having a festival of the uh, the gays in, in Tel Aviv or in Haifa. In Saturday, he made them pigs and monkeys. Which one is bigger crime for Allah? Do you see how stupid this story is? How many Jews right now as we speak, they go every Saturday and they do fishing? Many of the Jews, they don't really care for Sabbath no more. Many, not all of them. So why Allah at that time, he decided to make the Jews pigs and monkeys? Stupidity. And in order to believe in such a story, you have to be stupid. And this is why we see all those Muslims, they're trying to defend Islam, they look stupid for us. And they look stupid for themselves, by the way. Who is a Muslim would like to call me and explain to me or tell me how this is, can be true? Allah, he made the Jews rats. Allah, he made the Jews lizard. 
Allah, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys. And not only that, just to show you how silly Muhammad is, Muhammad, he said in one of the hadith, that if you leave or you lift your head up, Before the Imam, he will make your head a head of a donkey. Show me one person, his head became a head of a donkey additional to me, me hijab. This is the only proof you have. Show me one person from all those Muslims. There is more than a billion Muslims. Are you telling me not even one of them? He left his head before the Imam? It's a donkey. I want the Muhammadan who refute me to speak. They will say this is metaphorical. What metaphorical? Where it says it's a metaphorical? Where it says that? You see, because they are, they, are, they, 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 they have nothing to say. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's stupid. If you go in the Quran, Muhammad, he got himself busted again. In different place in the Quran, Muhammad, he said this. He threatened the Christians and the Jews if they don't believe in the Prophet, Allah will erase their faces. Uh huh. Okay, why he did not do that? He would go, I don't believe in Muhammad. Hmm? We are laughing at him. Oh, who have been given the scripture? The Jews and the Christians believe in what had revealed to Muhammad S A W F M O O O O garbage, confirming that what is ready with you, ready with you, before we efface faces by making them like the back and their neck. What? 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 The Muslim, the smart Muslim. Let let me let me uh, let me. Uh, uh, let me take advantage of having Mimi and Fifi trying to refute me. No, CP. This is about the Judgment Day, CP. No, my friend, it's not about Judgment Day. He's saying the same as we did to those who break the Sabbath. He did not did that to them in the Judgment Day. This was a threat for now. Convert or else. Convert all our race your faces. I will make your face in your back and your face, your nose will go inside your head. <laughs> and he has given example. I will do to you the same brother I did to the Jews. I made them pigs and monkeys. What do you think, Muhammadan? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan have anything to say? How in the world this is can be a prophet of God? Where is the Christians who Allah erased their faces? Is that Zakir Naik? <clears throat> hmm? Which one? Uh, why you are blocking us? I'm not blocking you, you idiot. I block you if you say stupid things. If you are just trying here to harass people. Anyway, what is your question? Go ahead. The guy who is saying why you are blocking us. Why you give me the question? And why you don't call me in Skype live? Do you dare to call me in Skype as long as you have a question? Go ahead. You are a liar. We block people only if they are making a threat. If they are using filthy language. My Skype is open. Call me. Call me, baby. Suckle me. Let us talk about suckle me. Don't you want to talk about suckle me? Huh? I want to know what kind of a prophet. You see, Mimi Hijab, the coward, he will not, he will not dare to talk about this. What kind of a prophet he ordered the Muslim women to give their boobs to strangers? Suckle me. Record me. I'm saying suckle me. 
to the point even Aisha, she ordered her nieces and her sisters to suckle anyone want to enter upon her. So Aisha and her family They were doing a business of suckling for men. Read it carefully. No, CP. This is not a true CP. It's in the front of you, CP. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Abu Abdul Rahman. Oh, hold on, hold on. They will say it is weak. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, from Qasim that the, his father told him that Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, may Allah pray on him and grant him, peace, grant him peace, admitted those whom her sister and their daughter and brother had nursed. Okay, but maybe she nur they nursed when they were kids. No. Let us see. Because they might try to say that. They nursed when they were kids. And now they are growing man. No. Let us see, where is the hadith about Aisha and her sister? <clears throat> Let me try to find it for you because I don't want to say something. Here we go. Uh, Let me try to find it. <laughs> I mean, this is this is religion. <coughs> this is religion. Be honest. Okay, let me get the hadith. Um, Here we go. Let me put it here. Because they might say they, they, her sister they did that to kids and now they grow up and they became men. No. Anyone want to see Aisha? He have to suckle the boobs of her sisters. And we are talking about men. All right. Let us see the hadith. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, uh, this is in Musnad Ahmad. Okay, let us see the hadith in Musnad Ahmad. I will use Google translation because I could not find it in English. Because the Muslim, they might say to you, this is not the correct translation. But I think I can find it in this uh, English website. Uh, Let me see first if I can find. I want to find the hadith in English. Better just, just showing. <clears throat> First of all, suckling for women is not only for one woman. This is adultery. This is suckling for all Muslims. And it was 10 time and supposedly it's abrogated by five. But we cannot find the 10 and we cannot find the five because simply the goat ate it. But let me see where I can find. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to find uh, let us see this one 
I don't want to show Google Translation. Uh, I prefer to show the Hadith here. But if we have to, we have to. Let us try the other Hadith. There is tons of Hadith. I'm just trying one by one to see which one we can find in English. Here we go. Finally, we found it. Thank God. Because you know them. They will say it's a, it's a lie. It doesn't say that. This is not a true. This is, this is Sunan Abi Dawood. And this is a Sahih Hadith. Do you see what it says? Sahih Hadith. <laughs> <laughs> and then and Aisha hence Aisha may Allah pleased with her used to ask the daughters of her sisters and the daughters of her brethren to give him breastfeed five times whom Aisha wanted to see do you see it and who wanted to visit her so any man want to see Aisha in order to see Aisha, you have to suck the nipples of the sister of Aisha. So Aisha, she have like an office. And outside, there's a bunch of women. They are her sisters, her nieces. What do you do, brother, when you enter the office? You put your head in her breast, in their breast, and you have to suckle 10 different days in 10 different time, not in one time. Remember, not one time. Not only like you go and like do 10 times. No, you have to wait 10 different time in different days. And you have to do it until you are satisfied. Where is the Muhammadan they want to call me? The one who says Christian Prince, he said, suckle me. Well, here we go. I'm coming to the uh, office of Aisha. And I am saying to the sisters of Aisha, suckle me. I want to see Aisha. Please suckle me. You cannot see the wife of the prophet without suckling the boobs of his her sisters. And they will say to you, Christian Prince is lying. Guys, is it saying that in the text in the front of you or are making things up? Does it say that? So the cowards, they are saying that Christian Prince says suckle me. Well, I say, yeah, here we go, I shall suckle me. <laughs> and look here a muslim he's trying to insult jesus again supposedly he is trying to insult now look what he said just to show you the stupidity but your god your god he suckled from his mother okay hold on hold on hold on hold on uh, he, he was breastfeeded by young his young mother isn't it that more embarrassing uh, uh hold on what is embarrassing about it first of all show me where in the bible it says that jesus he sucked her from his mother secondly she is his mother the embarrassing is that your prophet ordering women your mother your sister to suckle a stranger this is a woman this is a woman suckling men they are not the children's and what is the purpose so you are trying to insult jesus by to defend islam but you did not do anything you just show how stupid you are you are making equal that if there is somebody who is a child suckling from his mother the same as me suckling from your mother And in order to defend Islam, you could not do it without insulting Jesus as usual. Yet they blame that Muslims, they support Jesus. Any Muhammadan? Uh, love, uh, light, life. You are just a filthy man like your private. Get out of here. If talking about suckle me is sex, that's mean your prophet is the faithy one. Because I was reading what your prophet he was saying, and she is the one who was speaking about suckling boobs, you filthy. She is. 
and she is your mother. What kind of Muslim women those Muslim women are? Who call me and say to me that Jesus, he used to play with his mother boobs and he was a guy. She said that he was a guy, which means he's a man. Actually, Jesus, he did way more than this. What he did? Huh. He played with his mother boobs and he was a guy. Filthy. And this is your prophet teaching. And because you cannot respond, you change to change the topic about to talk about anything. Let us talk about Christian prayers. You cannot answer. You are ashamed of your prophet. I did not say to any women to suckle anyone. I never said that. My shoes have more honor than your prophet. What kind of a prophet he is? And now the wife of the prophet, look at this scandal, look at this a disaster. Imagine Aisha now she have Facebook. Aisha she have a Twitter, Aisha she have Instagram. And Aisha now posting the pictures of her sisters and her nieces, says, please, if you want to meet me, you have to suckle my nieces. Hey, Trump, do you like to meet Aisha? You have to suckle her sister. And Trump, he will go and he will suck, her, suck, he will suck the nipples of the sister of Aisha. Aren't you, aren't you disgusted? Aren't you? There is almost a thousand people watching, yet not, not even one Muslim he dare to call. Do you believe it? Do you see how much intimidation there is? They are intimidated. Actually, there's a guy, his name is Semsi. He say, Christian Prince is a terrorist. <laughs> Who is a Muslim is a proud about his prophet and his wife Aisha, ordering her sisters. And again, this is a Sahih Hadith, because you know the game, they will say, this is not Sahih Christian Prince. Sunan Abi Dawood, Hadith number. 2061. The number is ringing in my ears. Sahih. Let me sing it for you. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. Which means the sisters of Aisha, they have windows in the walls of the house of Aisha, drive through suckling business. This is Islam. And this is the prophet who taught you to uh, our women are protected. Where is the protection for? So we cannot shake hands with your wife, but we can suck her boobs, Mimi. If if uh, if Ali Dawa wanna visit Mimi Hijab in his house, according to Islam, if Muhammad Hijab is serious and he's a real Muslim, he should order his wife to suck Ali Dawa ten times until he is satisfied. And I will, I would like to see a video about that. If Muhammad Hijab considered this is a shame. That means he's ashamed of his prophet wife. Correct, guys? If he is ashamed, if he's saying this is, I will never do that. That means Mimi Hijab have more honor from Aisha, and I adopt that. Aisha is a lot more honorable. No way. Who is more honorable than Aisha? Who is a Muslim dare to say me? Any Muslim dare to say me? I am more honorable than Aisha. Anyone? You see, I insist to find the hadith in English. Guys, did you save it? Did you save it? So next time I don't look for it because, you know, sometimes it takes time to find things. Here we go. This is the hadith. Please save it. A response will... No, my friend, it says sakalmi. Sakalmi is not a drinking. There's a difference between... Even there's the scholars, they explain it. Sakalmi is sakalmi. Sakal is sakaling. This is what suckle mean. Giving milk in a cup, this is drinking milk. This is not suckle. I mean, the language is so clear. And this was a Quran, but the problem is there was a goat. She was sent by President Trump. But by the way, the goat, she was not looking after Muhammad. She was looking after Suleimani. Hmm? Qasim Suleimani. The goat enter trying to find the name of the members of Hezbollah.
in the book. But she did not notice that this is Quran, the goat. And then Aisha, she opened the door. And as all the spies in the world, they do. What they do? What the spy he do? When somebody enter the door, they swallow the paper and they chew it. Mm -hmm. And this is what the goat she did. She's working for the CIA. She entered the bed of Muhammad. Muhammad is dead on the bed. She left the head of the prophet. She pushed him from the pillow. He fell down on the floor. Muhammad is dead man. And the goat is in the top of him. And now she flipped the pillow. And now she opened the book. And now she flipped the pages. And now Aisha, she opened the door. The goat got busted. Everybody now will know she is a spy. She start chewing the book. What she chew? She chew the stoning to death verses and the 10 time adult breast feeding. Do you see it, brother? And the funny they say to us that the Quran is preserved. That's what they say. Isn't this what you say? <laughs> you finished? No, Muslim will call you. <laughs> Actually, uh, my friend, I just finished uh, before I go. This is why I was I changed the timing. I thought it's going to take me more time. I was talking to a Muslim. Actually, we spoke for many time already. Uh, and the reason, you know, I I'm, I'm really being patient with this person because I, I felt that he is really sincere. So he have a lot of questions and uh, uh, his wife already she accepted Christianity and his wife she is pushing him to keep talking to me uh, and today we spoke and I think maybe uh, one more time we talk he and the rest of his family they are Christians already because his wife and his two daughters and one son already became a Christians. And now they wanted the father to accept Christ. So, you know, he is he's like almost convinced. You know, I showed him how stupid Muhammad is, how disgusting. And he could not believe it. He says, I need to check this. I need to see this. This is going to be true. I never heard this before. And I believe him, by the way. I, obviously, he's, he's not, you know, he don't know. So I told him, well, you check everything I say to you. And if... Uh, if what I say is true, then what you would do? He said, well, if this is true, I will leave Islam. I said, then, trust me, you are out of Islam already then. So by the coming week, we know, we agree that, you know, maybe a week from now, we will talk again, and I will be happy to talk to him. And maybe he is the same right now. He did not accept Christ yet, but uh, his family, they, they did. Wonderful family. And the wife, the wife of this man, she is a daughter of a sheikh. She's very religious. You know? So there's only one now, the, the husband, he did not accept the Christ. And they were asking me how they can do baptism, etc., you know? And by the way, and the husband is a very nice person. You know, he did not like, he is not angry from them. He said, I understand and it's okay, you know, but still I'm not really convinced. He asked me questions about the Trinity, how God can be uh, like three person. Uh, you know, he said that uh, uh, the God of Islam make more sense because he's one God. This is what he understand. This is what he heard, you know. So, uh, you know, I answer all his questions and I hope soon he will accept Christ. Now, do we have any Muslim want to tell us what's happening? Are you proud about the Prophet wife ordering her sisters to, to suckle him? Okay, I will give you a break. We will change the topic. We will talk about something more serious. And then we will go to breastfeeding again. Just don't worry, you know? Don't, don't, don't worry. <clears throat> just a break <clears throat> in front of us here in the screen I will put it for you there's a dish where do you think the wisdom should be where we should eat from the middle of the dish or from the side of the dish anyone have knowledge 
Any Muslim can help us? Which, where is the blessing of Allah he put? Is it in the side of the dish or in the middle of the dish? And where we should eat from? The side of the dish or the middle of the dish? Any Muhammadan? Hey guys, do you like the dish? I don't know what kind of food is this. What is? I'm confused about what it is. Maybe I chose the wrong dish. I, I hope it's not pork. The Muslim will not answer then. By the way, they eat everything. Hypocrites. They drink more than anyone. They eat anything. Right? <clears throat> Anyone, what a Muslim, what, 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 the, what the opinion of Islam about eating in the dish? From where we eat in the dish? The middle, the side, where? Any Muhammadan? Kebab? Khalla kebab, khalli kebab. Ayunint, kebab, kebab. Malah al kebab. Alayka bil kebab. Aina huwa al kebab. Somebody want kebab. Here we go, kebab. But kebab will not fit with the story because we want to talk about the middle of the dish or the side of the dish. <laughs> we want to talk about the middle of the dish or the side of the dish. So Muslims, where we should talk, where we should eat from? The middle of the dish or the side of the dish? Guess what? Prophet Muhammad, he have his own religious opinion about where to eat from. And actually his opinion is really confusing for me. I made them know if there is any Muhammad and he can help me. If we go in this hadith here, the Prophet saying, the Prophet said, indeed the blessing descends in the middle of the food so eat at the edges and do not eat from the middle. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If the blessing is in the middle, why you are asking me to eat from the edges? Hello? Hello? And what do you mean the blessing is in the middle? I mean, look, guys, as if he's saying the benefit of the food is in the middle of the dishes. Don't eat from the middle of the dishes. I mean, like, what, are you stupid or what? As long the blessing is in the middle, why you want me to eat from the edge? <clears throat> Nobody is calling me, my friend. Here we go. My Skype is open. Nobody is calling. No Muslim call me. Any Muhammadan? See, we change the topic so they, they don't dare to talk about Aisha suckering men and her sisters. Okay, just to show you the stupidity of your prophet. What is this? What, 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 what does Hadith mean? Where is the wisdom? Hmm. America became 80% Muslims, absolutely. Yeah. This is why they are less than 1%. <laughs> this is why Iran, you see Iran, guys, did you see what happened in Iran? Iran, they are coming in the street shouting, they don't want mullahs, they don't want Islam. Go and watch the news. Islam is collapsing. By the help of Mimi and Fufu. Don't you see what's happening, my friend? Yeah, the whole America, yeah, absolutely. According to Al Jazeera TV, six million Muslims leaving Islam a year becoming Christians. Go watch the video. A year. According to Islamic TV, most of Muslims who convert to Islam, they leave Islam in maximum three years.
there's a conference about it go watch the the, the speech who is Imam Mora Mora you idiot Mora Imam Mora what the people did you lie people Muslim scholar kid Imam Mora uh, <clears throat> you see why you don't call me right now mr. Imam Mora and we will see if this is true or not do you like to call me Imam Mura? We don't call. Coward. <clears throat> you know, the funny, they say that Hafs is not a liar. Who is the Muhammadan who dare to call me? As long you are saying and you challenge me, why you don't call me, brother? And by the way, give me the video which you are saying to me. I said, Imam Murra. Give me the video. We will play it and we will laugh at you because I'm reading in the screen, you donkey. I'm reading to you what is in the screen. Stupid. It's in the screen in front of you. And by the way, who is Imam Murra? Who is Imam Bukhari? <laughs> Bukhari, he said, Hafs is a liar. Maybe you do not know Murra, but don't you know Bukhari? Maybe you do not know Imam Ahmad? Maybe you do not know Ibn Hanbal? Who you do not know? Maybe Ibn al-Arabi? All your scholars, they say that Hafs is a big fraud. And this is why we cannot find one hadith of Hafs accepted any Muhammad who is Muhammad anyway uh, you know they say to me uh, show us a proof that Muhammad uncle his name is Qatham who wanna call me and I will show you that who is a Muslim he wanna change and if I show you that Muhammad he have an uncle his name is Qatham you accept and you will say and I insist, you will say that Mimi Hijab and Fifi, they are donkeys. I will make you read it in the screen. What do you think? Those their videos, they are stupid. Why you don't call me and challenge me? And I have one condition. You are recorded and you have to say, before even I give you the answer, if this is a true, Mimi Hijab and Fifi, they are donkeys. All, this is all my condition, the rest give it to me. Anyone want to do that? Any Muhammadan? I don't dare. <laughs> Imam Mura. Listen, why you don't call me and let us see who is fabricating things? Here we go. You you call me live on air and you say Christian Prince. I have a question for you and if you could not prove it that's mean you're a liar if you can prove it that's mean Mimi Hijab and Farid they are donkeys are you willing to do that if you are sure that this is a lie why you are not willing to do it hello hello it's me you're looking for you are a coward as before. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I fabricated to the point I'm challenging you to call me live on air. <laughs> Unbelievable. Go, go, kids. You see, now I have to ban you because you are not calling. I have no time for kids. Let your mom call me and I will not ask her for a suckling. I don't practice Islam. You can go and suckle Aisha. And by the way, she is 16. <laughs> what a religion. Guys, imagine. Imagine we have a prophet. His wife is following his steps. She's very orthodox. She's very conservative. She will not meet a man unless he go to the room next door. And he suckled the boobs of her sisters. Look how conservative she is. 
mean and I can imagine how many thousand Muslims are waiting outside and I can imagine that the sister of Aisha they have their bra in the laundry line outside I mean why they would wear why you would have a bra there's no bra at that time there's no bra anyway their boobs is coming out hmm you are busy with Murra this is Aisha she is the wind suckling practice this is Aisha she is the wind suckling practice you cannot meet her without suckling because it is haram you have to suckle her boobs so you can see Aisha Aisha, she have a rule, and you have to follow it, you fool. You have to suckle her boobs so you can get the dupes. You are an idiot to follow. A prophet like Muhammad, you have to practice Islam by suckling the nipples of the mother of the believers la 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 i mean i'm so proud to be a muslim i'm so proud to be a muslim the wife of the prophet that's amazing i mean muhammad he must be a hippie imagine women they come to him complaining that the husband is jealous because a man looking at me he says to her suckle him and then the wife of the prophet she order her sisters that you cannot see me unless you suckle my sisters hmm. you see yeah in in like you go in the airport uh, american airport you see free wi-fi if you go to Aisha office, you have a free suckling. Let us debate face to face. Oh, okay. My friend, <laughs> I will not debate you unless you ask your mother of the believer suckle me. This is my condition. I'm afraid of suck. I'm afraid to have face to face. I have to suckle first. I mean, how I can get my energy? I have to get my energy. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Marwa guy? Where is Murra guy? Murra, 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 Murra. What is this? What is this? This is a prophet of God. If this is a prophet of God, so what is what is a fraud is? Imagine we have a guy right now. He go in Fox News or CNN. He says, if a man is looking at you in a strange way, you have to suckle him. Uh-huh. If you want to visit the White House, you have to suckle the wife of Trump. I hope Trump will not hear me. <laughs> what a scam. Anyway, if a Muslim call me, I'm willing to change the topic. Just to show you, I'm not going to you know, force you to talk about this. This is my challenge to any Muhammadan. Call me right now. The topic is your choice. And the answer is my choice. Is that fair, guys? Who is a Muslim he dare to call? The topic is your choice. And the answer is my choice. Which means you don't, you don't tell me how to answer. You ask the question. I don't, I'm not going even to ask you. They don't even dare to ask question. I challenge Mimi, Faridi, Susi, Mimu to call me and ask me a question. Don't, I'm not going to debate you. Just to make you free from any obligation. So I will not say you did run, you hang up. No. Who want to do that? <clears throat> yeah, actually, I see. I told everybody that the Iranian is the one who shot the airplane after five minutes. You know, I know what happened. And now the Iranian, you see, Iranian people are good people, by the way. Look, there's tens of thousands of Iran right now, protesting in the street against the Mullahs. They are sick of this cult. They are sick of this religion. They want to have a freedom. And trust me, 
Iran, after they get from Islam, they will, it's going to become a Swiss land. Iranian are smart people. They are not stupid. Those mullahs, they use them when, when they get rid of the Shah because they are sick of the Shah. So they told them in the beginning, in, in, look, look what they do. When, when, the, uh, uh, when the mullahs took over Iran, the first prime minister was not even a Muslim. He's a secular person. He don't believe in Islam. And then this is just the first few, like a year or two. So they can hold the whole country. So they took all the officers. They made them from the mullahs regime, you know, from the, from the gang. So when they, they knew now they are strong, they took off the prime minister who is secular. The same as Erdogan he did. Erdogan, he signed an agreement. I'm not going to have a religious party. Fraud. And then they took over the country and they will never leave. But the hungry, hunger, my friends, strike. And hunger have no limit. Which means when people go hungry, no government can stop hungry people. When tons of millions go in the street hungry, no police, no army can stop them. So I believe this garbage regime is going to go to hell very soon. And I pray for that. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend uh, Tila. Yeah, you know, some sometimes uh, you, you see the Muslims, they attack me very much. And you know, they're attacking me for, as a person, right? But you know the reason. They don't know me. I mean, they're attacking me for what I expose about this stupid cult. But Muhammadan, because they are ashamed, of, they cannot answer. So what they do, they focus on the person. They try to frame you. They try to make lies about you. They edit your videos. But that will not work. That actually bringing me more Muslims to listen. Right? This is the truth. And more and more and what drive them crazy how many Muslims live life on air in my program I mean in the last year how many Muslims left life on air I don't I can't even count I can't even count there's no way I can count and this is not this is only on air and those who they, those who they are not on air is way more because most of people they don't want to go on air they are you know they are scared or they are shy or etc but most of them they are because scared if they leave so like now today i just finished speaking to his family the whole family became a christian except the husband and we have the husband now left and look look how this story happened this woman this woman her daughter she did listen to me she told her mother she asked her mother to speak to her family her family are mullahs they are sheikhs so he can refute me you know and her father is a mullah he's a sheikh so she told her mom, look what this guy is saying. Hmm? Tell, tell uncle, tell the grandpa, tell you know, tell them to refute him. The woman, uh, she said, how we can call him? She said, he have a Skype, he, he go live. And then, you know, they decide to talk to me in Skype. And they said, you are a liar. You are a coward. You are etc. I mean, calling me all names, and I don't, I ignore. And then they said, "Okay, are you willing to talk to us?" I said, "Call me when I'm live on air." They said, "Well, like we cannot talk when you are live on air. We, we talk in private. Convince us, and we be Christians. We challenge you." I said, "Sure." I don't even know it's a woman actually, at that time. So you know, we spoke, and it was a woman. Her, you know, her daughter with her, and we spoke. Uh, in the beginning, they were angry. I said, "All everything you say, it's a lie. It's not true. Uh, everything you say, you know, they expose you. There's many videos. They answer your lies." I said, "Okay, well, uh, those videos they answer my lies. Don't believe in them, then. But I can show you right now that I have no lies. Which lie? Name for me one lie I said, and let us see if it's true. Name one. She said, "I don't remember. I don't remember any." I said, "Okay, I will give you time." Go and check all those things, write them down for me, and I will show you one by one, whatever. It just don't, don't tell me from now what it is. Don't text me. Surprise me about those lies. And then 
She noticed that I'm telling the truth. I made her read it by herself. And the good thing, they speak Arabic. <laughs> they are Arab. You cannot lie to them. You know, I mean the Muslim, they cannot lie to them. I show them in Arabic. There is no need for the stupid translation because all this translation, by the way, is not true. Most of it is, is uh, full of lies. So the, the numbers of those people who they are leaving Islam is astonishing. Even though like now I'm really busy. If you know guys, I'm really busy here. I'm, when I'm, right now I'm at home. I'm extremely busy. But all what we do is for one purpose. Fighting ignorance. Ignorance of Christians and Muslims. Because many Christians, they are ignorant too. Ignorant about Islam, you know, like you go to the church. You might see in the church a priest saying to you that the God of Islam is the same as God of Muhammad, which is a big fat lie. Right? <clears throat> uh, somebody saying, tell me why God is in the Bible. He is jealous. And what his name, and his name is jealous. My question, he is jealous. You see, here's the word jealous. This is your understanding about jealousy. Uh, first of all it's your god in islam his name is jealous so that is showing me that you do not know your religion number two the jealousy here i will explain it to you when jesus he went to the temple and he flipped the tables on uh, those who they are making the house of god a place of buying and selling this is jealousy so jealousy here is against the wrong jealousy is I stand firm against anything is wrong. So jealousy here is not I'm jealous comparing myself to someone else. This is this is your understanding. So our God, He stand, and He is confirming to us in every behavior He do that He is jealous about the truth. The jealousy here is, is in based on your understanding is somebody is jealous from somebody else this is not what the bible is saying the word here have the totally different meaning the same as the word adultery in the bible the word adultery in the bible is bigger than a man and a woman that's why the bible says the earth committed adultery have you ever heard of an earth having sex adultery in the bible have many meaning one of them is women and man sleeping together against God teaching but adultery is any big sin against God so you when you read uh, you and is, is, is the one who asked me the question is he a Muslim <clears throat> my friend are you a Muslim <clears throat> He is? I'm assuming he is, right? Okay. Is one of the names. Jealousy is insecure? Yeah, because this is your understanding. You lied that Allah in the Quran is a jealous God? Well, okay. Well, let us see if I'm lying. I'm asking you now. You see, I answered you that the word jealousy here is not about he is jealous and insecure. The one is insecure is Allah. Because if Allah is in, if he is secure, why he need you to fight so he can have victory? If Allah is a person who is secure, he will not be worried about me. Correct, guys? He will not be afraid of me. But because he is afraid. And this person... Is afraid to the point he need a human being a silly human being to defend him why you don't call me and people either will laugh at you or will laugh at me are you willing to do that
The ignorance of the Muhammadan is beyond imagination. But we can prove it every second. Do you dare to call me? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim he dare to call me? Hmm? Anyone? Including the guy who said uh, you lied. <coughs> Anyone? Guys, did he say this guy? He said that Allah is not a jealous. Did he say that? I said he said I'm lying. Okay. This is why they are scared to call me. The word in Arabic here, Inna Allahu yaghara, Inna al-mu'mina yaghar wa ghiratu Allah an yati al-mu'mina bima harrama harrima law. Allah is jealous. Do you see it? Why you are saying I lie? I will tell you why. Because you are a fraud. Like your prophet. Whatever thing, whatever Christian prince he says, you say he's a liar. Do you see how we got you busted? This is your text. I will put it in the chat. So everybody will laugh at you. Selfie. It's a selfie time. And obviously, when the Muslims, they ask questions, showing us their stupidity and their ignorance about their religion. They do not know that the Quran and the Hadith, both they teach that Allah is a jealous person. Here we go. This is your statement. People, did he say that jealousy is weakness? Insecurity and weakness, did he say that? Jealousy is weakness and Insecure. Everybody now is laughing at you. And this is your prophet describing that your God, Allah, is jealous. So you are saying to me that the one who say Allah is jealous is a liar. So Muhammad is a liar. And this is why they don't dare to call me. Because I will get them busted in a second. Are you there, Abdul? What happened to this guy? Where did he disappear? Are you ashamed? Are you ashamed? Everybody saw what you said. Your text is being saved. We took selfie with it. The one who is jealous, according to your understanding, is a person who is insecure. Everybody heard you. Weakness. So you accuse Allah to be weak and insecure. Thank you very much. And this is why I say they are a bunch of idiots. They don't know who is their God. They don't know what their religion stands for. They do not know what their prophet teach. And this is why they don't dare to call me. Hello? It's me you're looking for. Hello? 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 Hmm. Stupidity is the flag of Islam. As they say in China, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Hmm? <clears throat> next, who is next? Next. 
And if we go actually the interpretation, you will see that the Muslims they are trying to copy the Christians. They say, "In Allah ya ghar is an tuhikat maharimuhu." Allah is jealous if somebody broke what is forbidden for him. I just told you that Jesus, he flipped the tables and those who they are buying and selling. And you said this is... Uh... <laughs> Stupidity. Now we can show you from any source, not only this, we can show you from Sahih Muslim, we can show you from many places. We can show you from, uh, you know, I mean, tons of places. We can show you from Al-Bukhari. What about Al-Bukhari? You like Al-Bukhari? Let us see Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari, it's a cute Bukhari. I like Al-Bukhari. Let us go to Al-Bukhari because they might say, oh, we don't like this here. And look here, you know, here, I uh, see, they, they don't even translate the word. They said Ghira. Ghira. The word here is Ghira. But this is jealousy. Why did they not translate it? Stupidity. Here we go. Verse. What? Muslim claim it is hijab verse. <laughs> My friend, when when a Muslim he when a Muslim he uh, uh, says uh, read something and that thing mean that as you see they don't even know their books so now they will explain our books to us. A Muhammadan who do not understand his book, he will explain to us. Our book? Don't you think this is a kind of funny and stupid? The Bible says, you see, when, when a Muslim, he, he says to you, read this and read that. Why, why he is asking you only to read those two verses? I mean, he says to you, uh, first uh, Corinthians uh, chapter 11, 2 and 7. What about 1 and 2 and 3? And why, why only 2 and 7? There is a reason. Never let a Muslim explain to you your belief. They don't know their belief, how they can explain to you your belief. The Bible says clearly that the cover of the woman is her hair. The cover of the woman is her hair. Simple and clear, as simple as that. So when the Muslim, he caught for you something, the question is, why he don't want to read the rest? Why only this verse he wants you to read? So he depends on you how smart you are. So if you are a stupid person, you read only the verse he caught. Don't read the rest because he is not interested in the rest because the rest will get him busted. Right? In the same chapter, it says the cover of the woman is her hair. How come the Muslim, he did not see that? Hmm? Why he did not ask you to read verse number 13 and 14 and 15 and 16? Because that will show that they are a bunch of scammers, liars like their prophet, fraud, garbage in, garbage out. Literally. First Corinthians 11. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, 
and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. But that is even all one as if she were shaven. As if she were shaven. Do you see what it says here? Continue. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. But the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of God. Judging yourselves, is it comely that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. Did you hear? Did you hear? And just to show you that how Mimi Hijab is a scumbag, like he's a prophet. How they are insulting Paul day and night, and then they want to show you that Christianity teach hijab by the teaching of Paul. Isn't him he was angry from me saying that Paul is in the Quran? <laughs> Unbelievable! How stupid donkey! Donkey, he never became a horse. So they hate Paul, and now they are quoting Paul. Brother, hijab in Christianity. Let me read for you, Corinthians. Okay, but I thought Paul is not a Christian for you. I thought Paul is a fraud. When you say hijab is in Christianity, that means you approve that Paul is the disciple of God. Do you see how stupid they are? This is why they don't dare to debate me. El Medina, get lost, get lost. I have no time for kids. Get kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got you busted already. Shame on you. You know, you are, you are, you are, you, you enter history. Your text is there. Everybody will see what you said that Al Ghira, the jealousy, is a sign of weakness and insecure. And by the way, there's nobody as insecure as your God. If you are a man, call me and I will show you endless proofs that Allah is insecure. Allah, uh, it's time for comedy. What is the time now? Guys, do you want to stay more? Uh, who, who is here is bored? Who is bored here? Guys, are you bored? <clears throat> we have 1,000 something watching. Why do we have only 816 likes? Like, come on, we deserve better, don't we? <clears throat> uh, okay, username. Suckling mean uh, 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 drinking milk from from the book of at al Kubra. Uh, Mr. Username. Are you willing to call me live on air? And I will read for you from At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra and you agree with the Tabaqat Al-Kubra. You are the one who chose the book. Okay, is that fair? This guy is saying suckering. I mean, have you ever have you ever heard of a stupid thing? Suckering mean suckering mean drinking from a bowl. So why you are saying suckering then it's, it should say it's say drinking. I mean, however, I challenge you to call me right now. And I will open the book of at tabaqat Al-Kubra and we will die laughing together. All what I want you to say, I accept the book of at tabaqat Al-Kubra, it's authentic book. What do you think? I challenge you. You know what? You know, nothing makes me happy as much as getting Muhammad busted for i don't know i don't know it make me feel like 
as long now I'm living between the amigo I want to learn Spanish by the way I mean everybody speaks Spanish here so <clears throat> I'm thinking about uh, this is how I feel now Yahoo! call me right now call me right now call me right now call me call me now call me now go to heaven right now call me now call me now go to heaven right now the version waiting for you the version waiting for you Call me now, call me now, call me now, got the versions right now. Call me now, defend Allah, get the versions right now. Big and beautiful versions for you, waiting, waiting, waiting for you. Call me now, call me now, call me now and get the versions. Take me! Shake it! Shake it, shake it, shake it more. Shake it, shake it, shake it now. Call me, call me, call me now. Me, 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 fee, fee, do, do. Su, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Dun. Dun, ta, dun, 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 dun. Tum ta tum 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 ta dum dum tum tum ta dum dum tum ta dum dum ta dum 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 la 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 call me call me now call me call me now now thank you ladies uh, please sit down we finished the anthem of Allah cowards don't you want to get the versions if you call me right now and you get me busted. Can you imagine how many versions Allah is going to make for you right now in the manufacture of Allah? Which is not made in China, which means they are going to function. And not only that, those versions, each time you use them, they become versions again. I can't explain that how to you. I mean, I don't know how this has happened, but let us describe it like this. It's like Alibaba cave. You open it close. You open it close. You open it close. How boring. Hello? Hello? Any Abdul? <clears throat> oh, very disappointing. Is the volume eight page? But it don't be volume eight page. I mean, you are you must be stupid. Okay, you see, when Aisha she ordered her sisters to do breastfeeding for anyone who want to visit her. Did she say breastfeeding, guys? Does, does the hadith says breastfeeding? People, people, does it say breastfeeding? It doesn't say boil drinking. It says breastfeeding. <laughs> I mean, stupid, stupid, literally stupid. Oh boy. And you know what? I want to go with you just to show how stupid Islam is. So how in the world, if I drink your mother, your, your wife milk, why your wife, she's a, she's a goat. I mean, women, they have always milk. Secondly, what if I am a man and I drink her milk? How that, are you a Hindu? Are you people are Hindus? So like the cow is your mother? How in the world, if I drink the milk of your wife, let us say you are saying that your wife, she will, she will squeeze her breast in a, in a, in a, in a, in a cup. And then she give it to Christian prince and the Christian prince. Okay. How now I can see her? Explain to us. You see, you are the genius. 
how that can make me able to see your wife alone if she gave me some milk in a cup as you claim do you see how stupid your claim is and this is why I'm dancing and I cannot stop dancing dancing is haram by the way this is so stupid this is so stupid this is so stupid this is so stupid crazy drink her milk drink her milk she will become like a cow for you mama milk baba milk this is Allah rules brother hold on hold on stop 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 nobody can explain this hadith as the prophet uh, Zakir Naik brother in sister the topic is about bread feeding the topic is about bread feeding I'm going to teach you how to do bread feeding for adult brother brother don't give your wife don't let her give her nipples he have to tackle him by tackling by tucking and by squeezing her nipples and then to give him the drink in a cup of water and he drink it and that is called tackling it lamb brother what stupid religion what the, what this is what, what are you people out of your mind are you mentally ill? Me? What is that? Supposedly he tried to fix it, but he made the blind. Ardaini, <clears throat> Ardaini. Ayusha Ardaini I'm thirsty, I am thirsty Mean It's time, it's, it's about time for me to do a breast suckling from a believing woman of Allah Oh, how hilarious this cult is I mean, one of the things proven to us that Muhammad is a fraud is this a decent man will never say such a statement this 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 story here proving to us that Muhammad not only he is not decent he is mentally ill anyone no oh, we have uh, somebody calling hold on oh. why it's not coming Hello? Hello. Is yes. this is this his voice? Is this the same person? Same person. I don't know what does that mean. Um are you this person that's putting all this stuff on YouTube? I yeah, the person who puts stuff in YouTube like what? Yeah, it's definitely it's the same voice. Sir, can I please explain something to you, okay? I don't mind whatever you're doing, but can you please? My brother listens to you too much, hmm. and all I can hear is the same damn thing that you say. Hmm. This is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. And hmm. I'm actually getting a stupid headache from listening to it. Hmm. Okay. Let me can tell you. you just, okay. If you're going to debate, sure, if you're going to sure. debate, can you just please do it in a way that you're not so annoying? Okay. Because I have to listen to it too. And I really don't want to listen to it. Hmm. Okay. But, but my brother, but, he's but, mental, hey, like but, you and like everyone else that sits there and okay. listens to debate. So let, it's really annoying. To let listen let to me it. ask you are you stupid or what? No, you guys. Because if you are, if you are not stupid, you why, why, are you don't, stupid why, why you are listening? Why you are listening to me? Why? Have, shut up shut up you idiot you are officially stupid and you are calling me just to call you want to talk to me because if really I'm annoying to you you will not be calling me you go and you just mute you know don't why well, you are sitting next to your brother listening you must be stupid yourself <laughs> now you earn the word stupid yourself certified one 
Can you please stop? Okay, change the channel. Go to different channel. Leave the room. Immigrate to Mexico. Like me, I amigo. <laughs> Can you please? <laughs> yes, I, the only word I will say is a stupid because the, I, I know only 10 words in English. One of them is a stupid. What I can do? What I can do? My brother, he listened to you. So my brother is your brother is listening to to me. Why are you listening to? You idiot. Thank God. We don't have people, too many people like you our own. I mean, she's complaining because her brother is listening to me. Talk to your brother, you idiot. Go cut the internet. Call the phone. Call the cable company. Says, please, can you cut the cable? Because this guy all day long, my brother is listening to his videos, and nothing he say there except you're stupid, you're stupid, you're stupid. Hold on, I will make a song for it. Stupid. A lot of stupidity. We chase stupidity. We are after a stupid. When a stupid come, smart people leave. Stupid. You must be so stupid. Extremely stupid. How stupid you are. Stupidity. Aggressive stupidity. The best solution for stupidity is camel urine take it once and never again stupid man too many stupid all right all right okay okay that's it i mean come on come on, i mean what is that i mean you need a doctor you need a you need, you need a shrink this woman, she's going crazy because of me. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, Islam is hilarious, honestly. All right. <laughs> Guys, do you think I, I am good to be a DJ? I'm going to uh, open a company, uh, Incorporated. It's called uh, uh, Breast Feeding uh, DJ. You know? And then I will open a new branch in every city. It's called Stupidity. It's not allowed. Stupid. Don't get married. Your husband will die second day. <laughs> If you get married, your husband will immigrate to Afghanistan. I trust me. Even if he will go there. <coughs> man, oh man. And they ask me why you are still single. Oh boy. Hey. Can you please? Can you please stop saying the word is stupid? <laughs> Oh, anyway, I, uh, you know, uh, don't forget if you are new on our channel to subscribe and don't forget to download this video because we don't keep them. You see, I'm going to clean my videos today, most of them. I don't keep too many videos on my uh, channel because it's stupid. It's stupid to keep them, brother. It's stupid. All right. No, I blocked her. I'm not going to listen to this garbage. You know, I mean, it's a stupid of you to call me to complain that you are listening to me. I mean, how stupid of you? You see, I don't want to insult her, but she brought the insult to her. If you are, if I am annoying, just to change the channel. If you are, your, if your brother is annoying, change your brother. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure her brother is laughing at her. Sound like her brother is a smart man, but she is not. 
All right. But look how aggressive this woman is. I mean, you see, women are the be the beauty about a woman is to be a woman. The second you act like you know an aggressive way, I mean, you you lose your you know the 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 the, the sense of a female. Why you don't talk nicely? Okay, I, I did not. I don't know you. You don't know me. Are you the guy who makes things in YouTube? Like, what, what, what was she saying? I mean, she's calling me. She got my Skype ID, and yet she do not know who I am. I mean, do you see? Do you see the fraud? How you know my I, my Skype ID? I mean, there's many people in just line and wait for ticket. So you might speak to me. It's me. What a crazy people. <clears throat> well, you know, uh, uh, to be honest with you, I wish my English is better, but my English is horrible. What I can do? I know 10 words in English. One of them is hello. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> you are looking for. Now we have four already gone. So like not much I know. <clears throat> no, I don't want her brother to call me. I don't want anyone. Any you know, I mean, this is stupid. If you don't like to listen, just uh, believe. Crazy people. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, good uh, guys, just forget about her. She poor woman, whatever she what she wanted. I don't know what she what she is her problem, but uh, obviously she have a problem. And you know. You see, this is a great example about how well, how people they they uh, sometime they do crazy stuff. Let us say you have a member in your family watching a TV and you don't like the TV program. What do you do? You call the TV? <laughs> Please, can you change this program? Do you write poem? Oh yeah, I write. Actually, I can speak to you in Arabic. Just making poem. Honestly, but not in English. You know, I, because my English is limited. But in Arabic, I can just answer you. You can talk to me in Arabic, and I answer you by making poem. This is something I do since I was a kid. Yeah, but you know, uh, when your English is uh, word is limited, uh, sometimes you do not know what to say. So, did we have a good time? Today is Saturday, and I think you guys are having a good time here on Saturday. It's a Sunday in, in Asia already. What is your qualification to teach uh, Christian brothers and sisters about Islam? My friend, qualification always is knowledge. It's not a degree. However, I have a bachelor degree uh, in Islamic law. But this is not what make me qualify to speak about Islam. Because there is many people, they have degrees, but they are stupid and idiots. Degrees never make you really educated. But yes, I have a degree in Islam. I am qualified to be a judge in Islamic court, or any Islamic or any 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 court in the Middle East. Uh, but this is not what make me qualified to talk about Islam. What make me qualified is my knowledge. Correct. I mean, do you have a doubt that I know my stuff? You guys are here for what reason? I never say anything without putting the proof in the screen. And, you know, you know, imagine how hard what I do. You mention something, it takes me a few seconds to find it. You know what I mean? How you can do that? Unless you know your stuff. And I don't save them in my, like, uh, it's impossible to save all the stuff. I just search it. You know, I know the hadith. I remember it. I memorize. And I know, I, and I know tons and tons of information about this cult. I cannot say that I know everything because nobody knows everything. It's impossible. But I can say that my knowledge compared to those people who claim to be scholars with big beard is way better. 
and it's more than enough for me to expose the cult. Do you show? Can you do shows about Sharia law? First of all, there's nothing is called Sharia law. Sharia is not a law. It's a collection of stupid stuff. She will get angry now. <laughs> yeah, it's a collection of stupid stuff. As an example, when the Muslim they say we have a law. Okay, where is the law is coming from? They say to you from the Quran and from the Sunnah, which means what Muhammad did and said. But there's contradiction between what Muhammad did and said and the Quran. Which one we take? They say we take the, the we take Muhammad. And this alone showing you that there's no law, it's just uh, a choice. Because how you choose the man over God? If God, if Allah is God, as an example, Allah He said to the Muslims, "Do muta." That's mean. This is this is law. The law says you can go to a woman and ask her to take off your panty and you pay her money. This is what muta is about. A rented woman. So the Quran make it lawful to rent a woman. Then the Muslims they say that Muhammad he forbidden that kind of rental. Okay, how Muhammad he forbid what Allah he allow? Hmm. Let me show you an Islamic website, alislam.org, because as usual, I don't say things without proofs. Muslim, they consider it as, it's like an employment. It's an employment. Look at this. In some work, special terms is applied to women who practice muta, musta'ajara, or rented women. Do you see it? Muta considered a kind of rental because in general a man basic aim is kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment. I mean how this is can be a religion. A religion asking women to rent themselves and Muslim women they are called rented women. And who is the one saying that? This is the Muslim website. They are the one who describe it for us. Do you see it? This is not Christian Prince saying that. Uh... Somebody saying when the Greek language influenced Christianity before or after exactly the Greek. I mean, this is a very silly uh, question because first of all, Christianity influenced the Greek, not the opposite. What are you talking about? It's the opposite. And what do you mean before Alexander the Great or before? What is that? <laughs> what did Alexander the Great have to do with Christianity? I don't know what you ate by today, my friend. You are being funny. <clears throat> Moses. Uh, maybe this guy is a Muslim. Let us see. If you are a Muslim, call me, please. If you are a Muslim trying to call, call me. What means Alhamdulillah? Okay. Hamd means uh, thanks. Like you are thanking somebody. So, thanks to Lah. The moon god. <clears throat> uh, 
يعني محمدا I ask, I answer you. I think this guy he have a slow internet. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and he have the knowledge. I want especially those who claim to be sheikhs. You know, those who have beard. Anyone? The second is a special situation you cannot do it now. Yeah, you cannot do it now. People these days they are watching, especially Muslims, they are watching porn. You know, I mean, they don't do that. I mean, look at this uh, special situation. Aisha, she was ordering her sisters to do it. What's special? Situation? So, so what about everything? In Islam was a special situation then. And where it says this is a special situation? Did your prophet say this is a special situation? Can you show me your prophet saying this is a special situation? Uh, do you agree that uh, what you're asking me about Shah? My friend, focus with me in my topic, otherwise don't make me ban you. You are giving me questions. Do you agree about the Shah? I, I believe all kings are corrupt. All those who work in politics are liars. And people are victims. All of them. They use you, they fool you, and they suck your blood, especially those who call themselves kings. They live in palaces, and you are living in a in a in a in a room under the under under uh, under the stairs. So what the best king? There's nothing that's called the best king. If he is the best king, he will not be living in a palace, and you live in, in under under uh, under a roof leaking. Correct. The best the best king is somebody live between the people like them but the person who have palace do you see do you see the 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 king of iran his house the palace the the scene is covered by jewelries i'm not exaggerating so the best king is somebody he served the people that is my lord the messiah my lord the messiah the king of kings he washed the feet of his followers which king is washing the feet of his people? Nobody. There's only one person he do that. That is the best king. The rest is just to use you and abuse you. They are seeking power, seeking glory, seeking, uh, seeking everything except you. You are the last one to be remembered. Uh, username, I think you are, you are just uh, making fun of yourself. Just go out. I have no time for kids. <clears throat> uh, well, you know, Muhammad, Muhammad about Alexander the Great. Muhammad, he did not know really Alexander the Great. He knew. There's a story about a person. They call him the guy with the two horn. This is a story written by a person. He is from Syria. It's a fiction story about Alexander the Great. He called Alexander the Great the person with the two horn. Why the Roman they used to wear those things, and the the the, uh, the helmet and their head have two horn. So Muhammad, he do not know his name. He's just a stupid idiot. The story says the guy with the two horn. Have you ever heard of a person? His name is the guy with the two horn. Why is a cow? <laughs> but because Muhammad did not know his name, he knew the story, the story which is a fiction story. It's a fiction story about a real person. Alexander the Great is a real person. But the story of Zulqarnain is a fiction story written by a Syrian person, a person from Syria. It's a fiction. And this is a story published all over Europe became very famous <clears throat> we will not talk about uh, any of us now we have to change the the rating of the video yeah anyway I think guys we have a good time to the, together today uh, did we have a good time 
did we did we uh, did we enjoy our time i think we have a good time uh you know subscribe if you are new try to join us tell your friends and uh, you know i have many other pages subscribe to them like an in instagram you can subscribe to arabian prophet let me put for you uh, this is my instagram join me there because i announced before i go live that i will go live right now join me so if you have an instagram don't forget to join uh, so you will be updated uh, i have a website or a page it's called minds.com slash christian prince so you can update too and uh, you know uh, uh, this is patreon our patreon so i want to say really thank you for all of you um, i'm really honored to have a great people listening and i apologize if sometime i'm kind of tough but my topic is ugly it's like asking somebody he work in garbage why your clothes is dirty you know what i mean my topic is disgusting so the nature of my topic control what i will say Otherwise, if we will be talking about the Messiah, we will have a radio, you know, I mean, there is no way we are going to be talking about suckling and garbage and stuff, you know. But the nature of this garbage, it's a garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, so, don't complain for hearing language, which maybe you don't prefer to, to hear, because... The topic itself is disgusting. And me, myself, <clears throat> I don't like to uh, use makeup for stories or, let us say, words. Like, you know, there's many, they would say, it's not right to say the word penis. So what I would call it? <laughs> Pen? I mean, it's a penis. It says their penis. What I would say? So I like to say things as it is. Uh, when you don't say it as it is, you are helping Islam actually. Because how people will see how ugly, how stupid it is, if you don't say it as it is. So if you're putting a, a paint in the top of the story, because supposedly you are a polite person, or okay, I'm a Christian, I should not say that. No, I'm a Christian, I can't say that. Because a Christian is the one who say the truth as it is, no matter how ugly it is. Right? Otherwise, I will be deceiving you. Making, putting makeup on it, sugar coating. Well, so what is the teaching then? The real teaching is sup supposed to be a real teaching. The truth. The truth, my friend. The truth will set you free. Uh, harm boss. I'm going to ban you, my friend, if you continue this way. Let me put your time out. Because this guy, he have a question for me every two seconds. And they have... Uh, is a Muslim allowed to leave Islam twice? No, Islam is not allowed to leave Islam once. What about twice? <laughs> twice. <laughs> what difference is going to make? Uh, yeah. <coughs> but you know, uh, sometime, uh, sometime, you know, people, they get upset. They say to me, but we are Christian. I'm a person who deliver things as it is. Who like it, like it. Who don't like it, I don't care. The truth, my friend, does not need... I mean, uh, uh, we have a cult. And one of the way of a cult to be successful is to sugarcoat. That's not right. Right? So, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I'm really tired. I had a long day today. A lot of work to be, to be done. And, uh, but still, as I promise you, I will come and I will be here and I will join good time with you. And I'm keeping my promise. Every every uh, week, uh, we will make uh, like one day for Christians to call us. But we prefer in the rest of the week to take Muslims. However, I'm thinking even uh, during the week, we give the Christians time to call. But only when there is no Muslims is calling. 
you know like I say okay guys there's no Muslims call me so if we say that you can you can call all right so thank you very much may the Lord bless you we pray that the Muslims will hear us and trust me nothing will save the Muslims as being truthful with them we love the Muslims we will never hate them and we should not hate them if somebody what the Messiah he said the Messiah he said I came for the sick the one which means the one who need help so what the Messiah is saying to us I am coming to the Muslims I'm coming to everybody who is sick because they need help and sick here does not make them bad uh, I can be sick too and many of us we have sickness who need the Lord healing many of us we have a broken heart many of us we have a, 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 a hatred in our heart uh, this is all kind of sickness so the Lord he come for those who have sickness not the healthy the healthy do not need a doctor so the Messiah he loved the Muslims and he loved to save them this is why the Lord he says a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved this is how much the Lord he loved them and he want them to be saved and because we love them and because we want to save them we are being harsh this is what happened when you love the one you are trying to save it's like somebody is taking drugs and he's not listening what do you say to him take drugs more have fun die take overdose a person who witness a disaster and he don't help is no Christian therefore we have a duty as a Christians to save the Muslims from the hell of Islam because Islam is nothing but a pure hell a true God will never promise us women and private parts that is not God it's obvious this is the devil this is the devil you do not need to be genius God if ever he want to give me a woman then he will talk about love not lust God he created one Adam and one Eve so why at the end of the time he will give one Adam millions of Eve what happened to this God this God did change no our God is one and he never changed Allah is a fake God and Muhammad is a fraud trying to tempt people by sexuality from the belly and down is Islam you see Al Khomeini he said to the Sunni you have inflammation in the books of uh, bathroom this is Al Khomeini but Al Khomeini himself his bathroom is way bigger than the Sunni so both they agree that their religion is a bathroom religion and they are in competition with the bathroom and we are here to clean it demolish it we'll make a garden full of flowers no bathrooms heaven heaven should not be a place of porn heaven is not about that God who gave us a pleasure of tasting food he gave us many pleasure he gave you the pleasure of touch he gave you the pleasure of feeling he gave you the pleasure of emotion this is this is a pleasure he gave you many gifts but God will not give you sex as a reward and that sex is a pure sex which means there's no love women we do not know we know, women we never met women they have one name women they have one look women one have one eyes one hair one height and even they say the same words how stupid is that 
what one million women can do a woman she cannot do when somebody tempt you and the temptation is about your stomach and down he cannot be from God where is the heart in there where is your heart Where is the word love in the heaven of Allah? Why Allah did not say, in the heaven I will make you happy with a beautiful wife, you love her and she love you? No. But Allah, he promised us, women we never met. And not only that, they look so scary. And if you don't believe me, This is what Muhammad said in Sahih al-Bukhari. That you will see women bones, the, the marrow of their bones. How this is, can be from God? This is disgusting. This is scary. Women bones is the women he promised me to have in heaven. Why a man will enjoy seeing an X-ray image? However, we have to admit, obviously, it's so sexy. I mean, how you can resist this temptation? You are in heaven and you have a woman, you can see the marrow of her bones. Bony women. Look how she spoiled herself. So beautiful. Amazing. This is heaven. The racist Muhammad, because he knew the Arab, they love white women. So he promised them women, they are so white to the point they are transparent. And he said, word by word you can see the marrow of their bones of their legs the exaggeration of a liar exposed the liar this is not something beautiful that is disgusting racist and filthy and stupid so my brothers my family there's one thing only i can be sure from that there is one name his name is the messiah no name is equal to him no one have dignity equal to his dignity nobody have ethic like his ethic and nobody have wisdom as he spoke his name is holy his act is holy his words is beautiful and even his words is miracle. He say and he do what he say. He ask us to forgive, yet in the cross, he forgive those who he, they are killing him. Literally. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. You see, if the Messiah is a hypocrite person, in the cross he should be different person so all his life saying forgive 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 uh, 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 Christ how we pray say our father out of heaven and then he say forgive to us the same we forgive to others imagine this person who's saying to us too much forgiveness and yet in the cross he did not want to forgive no he forgive in the cross forgiving those who they are crucifying him who can be better than him So if there is something I can be proud about, it's me following the Messiah. Otherwise, me, myself, I'm no one. So again, thank you. May the Lord bless you. And I appreciate all those who support us by translating the videos, downloading them, 
and those who support by making donations. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And don't forget to download the videos before we take it down. Take care.